Hey guys, how are you? So, as requested on our Discord, I will show you how to reproduce this simple asset. As you can see, there is nothing complicated, this is pretty pretty simple. But since this asset is made to be editable, this is just a simple vertex, it uses a bunch of modifiers, and beginners uh, can be afraid of modifiers and don't understand, for example, why do I use a displace, why do I use a decimate, etc. etc. So I will try to show you all of this to be slow and to explain everything. And you should learn modifier from scratch. Directly, if you start Blender, check modifiers, check the documentation, test modifiers, and you will see you will gain a lot of time uh, making your object. So let's see, let's start. This object, like I said, is just a simple vertex. So what I will do is to add a simple vertex. I will call companion. I will just click here to add a simple vertex. Okay? I will go in edit mode, in vertex mode to be exact. And I will be sure to not have the auto merge activated. Because I will press E to extrude my vertex and escape to undo the moving part and to have my vertex at zero. If the uh, auto merge is activated, uh, this vertex will be merged with the other one, and this is not what you want. Okay? I made this because I will use a displace modifier to translate this vertex in X to 1 here. And I want it to be at 0 because, like that, I will be sure if I enter 1 in the uh, displace, I will exactly have 1 here. Okay, so let's do it. Space, displace, one, enter. So you don't see anything here because I need uh, to hide the grid and uh, to show the wireframe. Okay, so eight to hide the grid and two to show the wireframe. But it seems on this build of Blender, I have issues with wireframe directly on the overlays. Okay, so let's continue. Like I said, uh, the, this displays will move the uh, point, this vertex, to 1, because uh, the mid level is at 0. If I move the mid level, as you can see, the value will change. So let's the mid level to 0. Like that, if you enter 1, you will have exactly 1. So you can press S and move, and as you can see, the value change. And if I press 1, boom, I'm sure to have 1 centimeter here, because I'm using centimeter at uh, units. Okay, so this is why I'm using the displace modifier to move some vertices. You can also use it to move some objects. This is like, uh, in fact, I'm a cheat instead of using a transform modifier because we don't have a transform modifier. So let's make a, a petition. <laughs> uh, I'm using a displace that will move the point. And right now, since I was in edit mode in vertex mode, I made uh, automatically with speedflow a vertex group and this displace will use this vertex group and move the point in fin, the vertex in this vertex group to the value I wanted. So this is a cheat and uh, this is really, really useful. You can use it in edit mode, you can use it in object mode and I really love it. But I would also love to have a transform modifier. So let's continue. We made this edge. Now we want to add a screw to make something uh, like that, okay? So, space, screw, that will give me this result. I will press 2 to show the wireframe, and I will press S to change the step. I will press S, 6, enter. Just like that, okay? So like that, we have exactly the same uh, form. And if we play with the displace, as you can see, I can have this, I can enter 2. That will give me this result. I'm sure to have two here and two here. So far, if I exit and show you the uh, dimension, as you can see, this is perfect. So now what I want to do is to add those um, bevels here on those points. Okay, but to do this, I need to get rid of all of this because uh, to add those bevel, I need to use the only vertex uh, option. So I will just show you. I will add a bevel like that. I will press K to use the only vertex to add the bevel here. Bam. And as you can see, I will have this kind of result. And this is not what you want. Okay, 
So now what you can do is to add a decimate like that and you will get rid of all the um, planar edges. The best is to move the decimate before the bevel. So use the upper OK like that and you will have something perfect. Okay. Let's come back to the bevel. You can change the width with S. You can change the number of segments with D and you can change the profile with F as you can see. So let's enter 0.6 like that. As you can see, this is red. And why is that? It's because in the uh, preferences, in the theme, I changed the uh, option to show the normals, the reverted normals. And if it's red here, I need to flip. And to do this, I need to go on the screw. And if you press R, you will flip. So as you can see, yep, like that. So it's if you use a screw, you will be sure to see the uh, direction of the normals of the object. So now this is like that, and now this is like that. So you can do whatever you want, but right now I want it to be like that. Now what I want to do is to add a solidify, okay? That will extrude this face. So let's press space, solidify, and boom, you will have this result, okay? So the solidify S, D for the offset, as you can see. I will keep at zero because I like to have it like that. And in fact, that's it. You have some other options. You can press F to have on the rim. You can add another solidify, etc. etc. So I will get rid of this one. I will press F to come back. So now what I want is to add the bevel to have this. So let's come back to the bevel. I will press shift and space to add a new bevel like that okay so be careful if you go uh, like that you will have this uh, red result and this is also why i like to use the option to see the uh, normals because like that i'm sure to see the result and this is nice so let's make something like that and s for the width this is the same keys for every model always s d f g h etc etc so like that this is easy for you and this is pretty fast so S for the width, D for the number of segments, if you want, F for the profile, if you want to make something like that. And I will show you a little uh, little trick is that if you enter, as you can see, boom, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, bam, you will have something flat and you will be able to change the number of segments. And this is really, really useful. And because of this, I would love to have the possibility on the Solidify to add some segments to that will be really, really, really powerful. So let's not use, I will keep it this like that. This is just to show you. So I want now to add a last bevel. Okay, so same as previously. I'm in the bevel modal, shift space, and that's it. As you can see, I, can, I can't go under this value because in the add-on pref, I set up this minimum bevel width to 0 0.01. Like that, I'm sure on every object I will use, I will add a bevel. If I go on the last bevel uh, to the left, I will be sure to have the same value. For me, this is really useful. I really like it. So it's up to you. And that's it. We made our object. It's not exactly the same, but we can make it exactly the same. For example, we can edit uh, the solidify. We can edit uh, the bevel like that. Uh, this this one, yep. the first one, like that, increase the number of segments, and that's it. So as you can see, I'm using modifiers to create custom assets, like those ones, that will allow me to make uh, addition on the fly with Pitflow. And uh, because Pitflow is really fast, you can do uh, all of this really, really fast. For example, if you want to decrease this, if you want to decrease uh, this, to decrease this, to decrease this, like that. If you want, you can press this, you can add a new one, you can move it before the last bevel or before the other bevel, like that, and still continue to edit it. And why not add a new one, move it before the other one, etc. So with the same asset, I created uh, another version and I can duplicate this one. I can edit the solidify. It wasn't this one. <laughs> uh, select the first one. 
I can edit it. I can still continue to edit. As you can see, everything will follow. To edit this, I can continue to edit. Uh, let's see this. Increase the number of segments. Uh, let's see. Edit this one. Make something like that. Boom. Etc. Etc. Edit and uh, disolidify. I need to go on the second one to make this. And that's it. So as you can see, I can create a different variation of this object on the fly with Speedflow really easily. And with this, you can directly add them to the asset management and have whatever you want and also use it with Proflow and that will be really, really, really nice. So let's come back to this one. Let's make a recap of our object. I will use this uh, mode visibility. I will press H to hide everything. So we start with a simple vertex. We continue by adding, uh, I will do this, a displace, as you can see here, a displace in X to move this point from zero to one. After I add um, to turn a screw, my bad, to have this result. Okay. After I add a decimate to get rid of the edges. After I add a bevel on only vertices, that's why I used a decimate to get rid of the other vertices, the center vertice. And I will have something clean like that. After that, I use a solidify. That will give me this. After that, upla, I use on this one the second one. After I use a bevel to add this. After I use another solidify and the last bevel. Okay, so uh, I should have redo this one uh, to show you this, but as you can see, using modifiers is really, really powerful. So to recap the last time, the displace will move the point. The decimate will get rid of the edge on something that is plain, uh, that is flat to be exact. And after I will add modifier on modifier to do whatever I want. And you have to understand, uh, I forgot to activate this one, H, the weighted normals that will clean the normals. You have to understand that on Blender, what is here is the bottom of the stack. What is here is the top of the stack. If you call this, as you can see, the displace, this is the bottom, this is layers. So uh, this is the first layer, second, third, etc, etc. Okay, so if you understand this, uh, you will be able to uh, know why, for example, you need to move, as you can see, the last solidify before the last bevel, because if you move it after, you will not have your bevel here, because the uh, solidify will be after and the bevel will be not visible. So just to show you, I will just move it with the down arrow key, bam. as you can see, since it's after the bevel, I don't have this. So I can move it before I will have my bevel, before I will have my other bevel, before I will have again my other bevel. So it's really up to you to do whatever you want. And with modifiers, you can create a, a bunch of custom assets. You can use them directly on your scene. You can edit them on the fly with Speedflow. And uh, if you understand everything correctly, uh, you can do uh, a lot, a lot of things and modifiers are really, really, really useful. And once you are okay, you can, for example, keep the last bevel and apply everything else. Just like that. So that's it. I hope uh, you understand everything. If you have some question, uh, use the comment section. Or uh, if you are a customer, come to our Discord and I will help you. See you later.